Out of all the NPCs you meet in Elden Ring, Sorcerer Roger comes across as one of the nicest people in the lands between. Which probably explains why he gets so messed up. Because nice guys don't just finish last in From Software games. They also wind up being horribly maimed and infected by death. I'm Jamie Latour, and this is how to complete Sorcerer Roger's questline in Elden Ring. You meet Sorcerer Roger relatively early on in your Elden Ring adventure. The first time you see him will be as a summonable NPC for the market fight, where he'll act as a decent distraction before he inevitably gets killed. Later on, as you're wandering through Stormvell Castle, you'll meet Roger for realsies inside of a church. He'll offer to sell you some magical battle arts, and that's about it. Then, after Godric is dead, Roger will relocate to the Round Table Hold in this area overlooking a balcony, although he'll be in pretty rough shape. He'll tell you that he's gravely injured and paralyzed from the waist down, and he'll hand you his plus eight rapier as he no longer has a use for it. Now from here, the quest can go one of two ways. If you end up meeting Ronnie before you do the next part of Roger's quest line, then he'll tell you that he's about to fall into a deep sleep. And then he does. Quest complete. Of course, there's more to this quest than Roger suddenly taking a very long nap. Did you wonder why Roger is unable to walk? Well, there's a reasonable explanation for this. Head to the Liftside Chamber site of Grace at Stormville Castle. Drop down here, watch out for the rats and the ulcerated tree spirit that will pop out of the ground, and it's time to visit our old friend, the giant creepy melted Godwin face. Here, you'll find a blood stain which will belong to Roger. The stain will show that our sorcerer friend's instant death meter apparently filled up and and he got severely infected with death blight, causing his paralysis. Return to Roger and tell him that we witnessed him getting wrecked. He'll mention some more lore about Godwin and how he was killed by a group of assassins known as the Black Knives. Now head on over to Fia the Deathbed Companion, aka the Hug Lady, and get one of her life-draining hugs. Talk to her and you should eventually get a dialogue option where she'll talk about the Black Knives. She'll then give you a simple map that will lead you to a Black Knife print. However, you don't actually need this map if you've thoroughly explored Lyernia East, because you would have come across a dungeon called the Black Knife Catacombs. In there, you can find a secret boss fight with a Black Knife Assassin. Winning that fight earns you the Black Knife print, which is something Roger would be very interested in looking at. Head back to Roger and hand him the knife print. He'll tell you that he needs time to study it, then leave the round table hold, or just rest at the big old round table in the middle, and then speak to Roger, who should be done with his examination, and will hand you back the knife print. He'll reveal that the person who murdered Godwin was none other than Ronnie the Witch. Dun, dun, dun. He'll tell you that her flesh must bear the curse mark of destined death, and he wants you to go retrieve it for him. Now for the next part of this quest line, you need to advance through Caria Manor, beat Royal Knight Loretta, and then travel through the Three Sisters region to reach Ronnie's Rise. If you need help with any of that, we have a Caria Manor video walkthrough in the description below. Head up to Ronnie's chamber, speak with her, and you'll get this rather bizarre prompt to say you must be Ronnie the Witch behind the Knight of the Black Nine which may be the most awkward conversational icebreaker I've ever heard. Ronnie's response to this accusation is essentially, yeah, so? And she'll tell you that she shed her old body for her current form, and thus she does not bear the curse mark on her flesh anymore, nor will she tell you where it is. Return to Roger, tell him that Ronnie no longer bears the curse mark, and he will suggest that you put your life in danger by becoming one of her vassals to learn the location of the curse mark. Yeah, what a cool idea, Roger, yeah, great. Go back to Ronnie, offer your service to her, and she's not dumb. She knows what you're pulling, but even though she knows that you're only joining her to find the curse mark, she'll accept your service anyway. From here, you pretty much just begin Ronnie's quest line while also searching for the curse mark. As for Roger, he'll still fall into that deep slumber from before and will slip into a coma. As you progress through the game and Ronnie's quest line, you'll eventually return to him to find that he died and has left you his bell bearing and his entire armor set. He'll also leave behind a letter informing you that D has a brother, which is a piece of integral information 
information linked to the quest lines of D and Fia. So yeah, Roger's quest line is more or less a go-between quest linked to Ronnie, D, and Fia. But you do get a snazzy new hat out of it, which when you think about it is pretty much the best reason to do any quest, really. For more Elden Ring news and guides, head on over to thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.